everyone, so today's video is a pretty little thing haul. I actually haven't decided yet if this is a try-on or not a try-on. Got an order from Pretty Little Thing. Um, this is kind of a little bit of a mismatch, I'm pretty sure, of um, items. I got some pajamary things, some normal clothes. Um, I don't fully remember what I got. I'm pretty sure it was quite a few items though. So if you do like this video and you want to see more from me, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. So let's get on with it. Why am I pressing thingy? No. This is probably the smallest pretty little thing bag I've ever got considering there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm actually really happy I pulled this out first. So the first thing I actually bought, which I will briefly show you, but if you've watched my What I Got For Christmas, you will know I got a dusky pink robe in a size 8, which it looked big on the model. When I tried it on, it fitted fine, but like the arms are massive, it's big. But when it closed, it's like on like your boobs, it was a bit like, on my boobs rather, it was a bit like um, tighter and it just didn't look like loose. I got it in a 10. It is this really pretty pink satin robe. This was £15 if I remember correctly, but I did get 20% off. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this. So I got a long sleeve white roll neck bodysuit in a 10. Basically didn't know what size to get, 8 or 10, because normally my bodysuits are an 8. But because this isn't ribbed, it's like a regular like material bodysuit and it's white i figured maybe get it in a slightly bigger size because it might just be really see-through here and i actually plan mainly anyway to wear it underneath like sweatshirts um because i don't have like a thin roll neck i only have like um more like a th like just high necks or a thick roll neck so it only goes in half obviously this one will like scrunch up it's that's literally what it is it's just a white long sleeve bodysuit Next thing, what is this? Oh yeah, I got this in a small and it looked really, really big, which is why I ordered it in a small. And because also, what is a small? Because I'm Primark, small is a 10 to 12. In other places, a small is a 4 to 6. Odd places, it's a 10 to 12 or 6 to 8. Or like, do you know what I mean? It's endless what it could be. So basically, all of the jumps I got are shorts. They are all shorts. Okay, this looks like it could be the okay size. So it's this is the shorts. This is like the, the, what looks like the thickest pair that I bought. Okay, yeah, so the, it is actually like, it does make a difference, the string. I like the material of these. These are the little shorts. And then the top is a shirt, which the bottoms I knew would fit me in an eight. It was the top I was unsure about. So you know when like with like pajama shirts and stuff or anything that like you do up with like buttons, any sort of shirt actually, it's like sometimes you get your size in it and it will fit, but like, it doesn't fit on your boobs, like it's tight. And I didn't want that because it's pajamas, but by the looks of things, it looks like it's pretty big. Cause like, that's like, that, yeah. Okay, if you're gonna get this, get your size because it feels like that's gonna be pretty good. The way the model basically had this, well, she wore it and then she sort of tucked this, the front of this into the shorts. Um, and I just thought this was really cute. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm, going, I'm not going to be that annoying human. I'm going to tell you how much stuff was. So this was £17.60, but might have been a bit more when I would, like, it, that was with, so this is all with the discount, by the way. The roll neck was £9.60. What is this? Oh, I forgot all about this. Okay, this is not what I thought it was, though. So this is a brown label wash long sleeve crop shirt. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't even find the bloody thing. Oh, wait, I do remember what this is. Kind of. Oh, here it is. £9.60. So I got this in a... It just says UK size. I don't know what size it's in. It's in a small. This is... I kind of saw this and thought, oh, that's kind of cute. It's literally just... I would call this a more like a sweatshirt than like a t-shirt. But it's this brown, like, marbly looking. Um, and it has these little cuff sleeves. I kind of wish I got this in a medium. I don't know why I got it in a small. I think I got it in a small probably because... Is it called oversized? No. Then again, it looks pretty wide. <laughs> But it just has the um, PLT logo here. And I just thought it was really cute. I don't really have any like crop sweatshirts that are like t-shirty looking rather than like little zip up things. Now on to some pyjamas. These are the pink striped shorts in a size 10. I've got all of the pyjamas in a 10 or a small. So I got this little set. I'm guessing this is £12. Okay, I'm really happy I got this in a 10 because these look tiny. They're these little shorts. They're like hot pants, to be fair. Which I don't mind, honestly, because they're gonna be so comfy. Because that's the thing, with things like these, like, yes, they're, like, tight, but they should be, like, comfy tight. And the top to go with it is this little... Oh, this is really soft. This little crop top, which also has the matching um, band, and then it has a little sleeve. This is just a grey jersey double strap crop top, which was, which was £3.20. This I 
to be fair i could wear this during the day if i wanted to and i bought this with the intention of the night top but i do have some pajama shorts that i really like like not necessarily the look of but like they're super comfy so i bought basically two to be able to two different styles to be able to wear with the shorts i've already got so this one oh yeah this is literally just like it's a top that you wear during the day, like it's not in the nightwear section. I just bought it to wear at night, if that makes any sense. But it's literally just a basic grey top. And this is in A8. It's actually really soft as well. So this was £6.40. It's the oatmeal rib racer neck vest in a size 8. Now this wasn't for pyjamas, this was to wear. I have no idea. Oh, 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 I remember now. If you like Zara, you will know zara do these tops that look exactly like what i'm about to show you and they're always out of stock because they're like 3.99 and they're currently on like 2.99 so they're all gone they do have high neck ones as well which are in stock but they're 10 pound which is probably why they're in stock and i did have some of those in my basket from zara but i wanted to get these ones because these are the ones that are really really popular can't get them i saw these on pretty little thing and was like let's go for it let's try them now I've felt them, the material is not that nice. <laughs> so you'll know what top I'm talking about once I show you this. But I think you can even see on camera that the material is weird. It's not like cottony or whatever the Zara ones are made out of. It's not the same. It's like, I don't know if you can see from the camera. Like, it's not, it's also not that stretchy. It's ribbed, but not that stretchy. Uh, maybe it would be. I don't know. But then again, like, I might have to have a little look. Like, if anyone has the Zara ones, let me know what they feel like because obviously I can't go to Zara right now because we're in lockdown. It's still £6.40 and the Zara ones are £2.99 or £3.99, so. I forgot to mention at the beginning, there's also underwear in this video. <laughs> okay, so I think this is the same in black, so I'm gonna quickly show you. These kind of look, not big, but like bigger than what I would think. So again, in an A, it will probably be the same price, £6.40. And this is literally just a black version. I just think these are gonna be, I don't know if you can see this. They just look like they're gonna be a bit see-through. So I've got a stone called pleated skater skirt. This was 14 pound 40. Now I got this in a, uh, a 10. So this isn't elasticated. Now I did buy a stone leather skirt at Christmas and I just, I felt like the color just didn't suit me. It, it just was so pale. Put it on and I was just like, I don't think this is me, like it just, it was too light, I just didn't like it. So this is the same stone, but this one looks creamier, less than grey. But yeah, this one's a bit more like yellowy toned, more than like cool toned. So I think I might like this one a bit more, and also it's not leather, and it's just probably a bit more comfy to sit around in. The leather one was like, and also I was a bit disappointed because it was meant to have shorts in it, like I'd seen people buy this skirt and it had shorts in it, and that my one didn't. So I was a bit guided. <laughs> this skirt seems really cute. I like that. Okay, we've got some more pyjamas. We've got the black crop cami and frill short PJ. This was £9.60. I got this in a 10. The shorts just... This looks quite tiny for a 10. But it'll be fine. Why is the length of these? I don't know if I'm going to like these on. I'm not going to lie. Because is it just me or are these a really weird length? Like, I feel like they're going to be like up here. This is just for show as well. This isn't actually... Go on. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the look of these shorts. They looked pretty online, but these just look very long. And then the top is literally just like a basic little crop top, which that one I will like. Uh, just not sure about the shorts. Now I've got another skirt, also in a 10. This is the Stone Check Scuba Pleated Mini Skirt. So this was £12. Quite like, oh, so this is elasticated. I got this in a 10 as well, but that feels quite nice. I think I'm gonna like this actually. I mean, the back isn't pleated though, what? Okay, so the front's pleated and the back isn't. It's quite hard to find pleated skirts on Pretty Little Thing without a slit. But I like this, but I do kind of wish it was pleated on the back, but I think it would still look really cute. Like, it seems to have really nice pleats. Oh yes, what's this? I've got a pink rib, long sleeve crop and boxer short set, a UK 10. Okay, so, so this was 12 pounds. I don't remember what this is. This one I really liked the look of. They had it in blue, purple, pink. I don't know if they had it in other colours, but I'm more of a pink person, so I went for the pink. Now, this is long-sleeved, which is very unlike me. I just wanted to give it a go. The shorts look like this. They're just really, really cute little shorts. they sort of got this material. I wasn't sure about the baby pink, just because I thought they'd be a bit see-through, but I'm just sleeping. I don't really care. And then this is the bit I'm not sure if I would like. 
because it's a long sleeve little top. Now this actual top part I'll be fine with, I'm just not sure I'm gonna like the sleeves, but this is super, super thin. So I might be okay with it. I just have to try it on and see. It looked really pretty on the model, so I wanted to try it at least. And then I've got a Essential Grey Mile Scoop Neck Crop Top. Okay, so this was the other top I bought. Um, like I said about the other grey one where I bought two grey tops as pyjama tops, which are regular tops, but I bought them as pyjama tops. It's literally just a little scoop top. Okay, so this was £4, which is like, a, like obviously both were quite cheap because I didn't want to pay much for them. But this is literally just to go with one of the tops that, like, just to go with, like, some pyjama shorts I've already got. And the last, like, pyjama thing I've got, because there's a few other about items I need to show you. Grey PJ t-shirt and short set. This was £14.40. I don't remember this one. <laughs> I kind of do. So the shorts, these look quite big but cute at the same time. So I got this in a 10, probably. Yeah. Um, so these are the sort of shorts that are quite, like, cosy shorts. I really like this band on them. I think they look really cute. What's the top? Oh yeah, it's just a basic little t-shirt, which I think is quite cute. So I got this um, black rib thong in a small, it was £6.40. I just wanted, like, I have a lot of like lounge underwear, which if I've actually done a haul where I bought like a ton of stuff on, like when they did like a deal. I wanted just some like cotton, because all of them are lace, apart from like, three pairs like one is like legs and silk the other is just like regular like cottony and i actually know that and one's mesh but i wanted to get some just like some thongs that were like cotton i was going to just get the cotton ones that they do on lounge and then they were out stuck in my size i thought i'd try these and i know that lounge has actually come out with a ribbed I don't know if it's just come out, but they do do a ribbed range. It's like a t-shirt bra and then like a thong or briefs, I think. Now, size-wise, I had no idea. I've got extra smalls and smalls in my um, underwear drawer. So it's literally just like ribbed, like... It's literally just a ribbed material, but they're not like stretchy ribbed, actually. I was expecting them to be a bit stretchier than this. But I reckon these will actually be quite comfy. They look quite like my Calvin Klein ones that I wear, which is quite nice. Um, and if I do like them, I'll probably just get a few more pairs because they were really cheap. And then I got this different style, which was the khaki ribbed high-waisted. So these ones are high-waisted ones. So these were £6.40. I got these in a small as well, which I really want to try these because I actually have like a little, pretty little thing, thing bob. Um, now these ones, like I said, they are high-waisted, so they do actually like come down like a lot longer. And they have this like sort of a little bit of like a thick band there. And I just thought they were really cute and I really liked them. They did a light blue, but I wasn't a fan of the light blue. Next thing, so this is the last underwear piece. This is the chocolate version of the khaki one, but they didn't have it in a small. They only had extra small. The only size they didn't have was a small. It was sold out. So I just got it in the extra small because like I said, I do have some underwear in the extra small. So this is the chocolate one. I actually wanted to get the little bralette that came with this, but I could not find it on the website for the life of me. It's literally the same thing, just in an extra small. But I'm sure like over time this will sh like give a little bit anyway. And then the last thing I got, which was £6, was this eyeliner. It's the Magic Eyeliner Divine Dew. I don't know how you say the brand. And basically this is the eyeliner that I saw like Soph Does Life do at use and... Georgia Lipscomb, I think she used it. A two-in-one um, eyeliner. So it's an eyeliner and a lash glue at the same time. And I've been wanting to get it in a what for a while. Yeah, it just was like this. Um, I'm not gonna like show it right now because there's no point. But if you do want to see it, I'm sure if you type in exactly this, you will see people using it. I wanted to order that, and it's quite cheap as well. So that was the final thing that I got. That was everything I got from Pretty Little Thing. I actually don't know if I will do a try on for all of this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please should subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know any ideas you have down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.